Okay, you guys, before I go to sleep, I'm going to tell you my other story. So, a friend of mine, I'm not going to say who it is. I'm not going to say if it's a boy or girl. I'm just going to tell you the story. And you tell me how you feel about it. So, a friend of mine called me and asked me, can I pick them up from work? And I said, it depends on what time you get off because I'm all the way in Tijuana all the way across the border dropping somebody off doing uber already so they said they got off at 2 30 a.m and i said okay i said i can pick you up i should be back by then so i get to that person's job at about 2 15 a.m and i wait for them they come out maybe five minutes later which is cool because i hate waiting on people y'all know that so anyways as i as they get in the car they say to me, oh, I got to stop at 7-Eleven. And I'm like, okay, no problem. So I go to 7-Eleven and I pull up the pump six. So as they're walking towards 7-Eleven, I yell out, oh, and by the way, I'm parked at pump six. That's all I say. I don't say nothing else. So they turn around and they look at me and they go, really? You want me to get gas? And I said, uh, what do you think? My car doesn't run on air or water. So anyways, they go in there. They wait. They're inside 7-Eleven, maybe 10, 15 minutes. So then they send me a text and they said, oh, I got some gas. So I get out of the car. I pump the gas. It's a decent amount. I ain't going to complain. So I'm good. So they come outside and they're like, um, they start messing with my gas thing. I said, oh, I already pumped the gas. Don't worry about it. I already took care of it. Thank you. So they go back in the store at 7-Eleven. And they're in there for like whew, a good 20, 25 minutes, right? So they go in there. And I'm sitting in the car. 25 minutes of my life I just wasted. Can't get it back, right? So they go in there. They're in the store. They come out 25 minutes later. Literally 25 minutes later. They come back out. They have a foot-long sandwich a super large drink and they get in my car and they sit there and so i'm looking at this motherfucker like and they're like what what i didn't get enough gas i said oh i said i'm not ungrateful i would never tell you you didn't get enough gas i said we good on the gas i said but goddamn, did you really not only waste 25 minutes of my life And you go in the store and you buy you something to eat and something to drink. And I said, you didn't even ask me if I was hungry or if I wanted something. I said, wow. So they said, uh, I was tired. My bad. I said, no, you weren't tired because you weren't tired to get your food or drink. So you weren't tired. I said, what you are is selfish and inconsiderate. Why are you tripping? You tripping? No, I'm not tripping. I promise you, I'm not tripping. So, anyways, ten minutes later, they go, "Are you hungry?" <laughs> I said, "Yeah, I'm hungry." I said, "But I don't need shit from you. I got me. Don't you worry about nothing. Be careful who you help, because they ain't always <laughs> ready to help you." And oh, one more thing, <laughs> they gonna tell me, uh, uh um. How can I buy something for how can I buy something for someone when I don't even have it? I said, Well, if you didn't have it, I said you shouldn't have bought yourself shit. And if you was gonna buy yourself shit, I said you should have bought enough for both of us to share. That's just my story. And I'm sticking to it. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about it. Anyways, peace out.